Free Company VR is a medieval times game where you need to build, manage, and lead your army through different battles and quests. You will partake in 100-man battles where you must survive enemy ambushes and customize each individual soldier. This game is in beta currently and is aimed to fully release in early access tomorrow according to their Steam page. Palmshine Games was kind enough to share a Steam key with me so that I could test this game out. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in the main screen. Let's see if we can get my pointer up here. That is so Okay, so smooth locomotion, hand, and right angle. Let's check it out. Okay, it's telling me to grab that sword. Sorry. All right, stealth kills. Stab enemies while undetected for an instant kill. <coughs> Use wide swings to damage enemies. And successive hits will stagger the enemy. Staggered enemies take three times damage. Tutorial complete. I gotta say, this game looks great for just being in beta. Oh, I got playing around. Okay, it says complete contracts to earn gold and gain renown. Okay, I'm that. All right, so here's elimination, war zone, and another elimination contract. Just take a look around real quick. There's my inventory. Drop items here to add them to your inventory. Okay, stats. And this is how you travel to a blacksmith, tavern, or sandbox cave. Interesting. Now where's our sword? There it is. Okay, so you have to grab the sword. I think and stab is going to hit. Hold on. Nothing special. 
Okay. So we will start with the first one here. It says here, Desert Town, kill all of the attackers Oops. to complete the mission. And it says we'll get, whoop. it says there was a reward, but I wasn't able to see what it was in time. I like the music so far as well. Ooh, where's this one? I don't need that. Where do I get a sword? Can I go in here? It's an outside area. It's also an outside area. Yeah. Hopefully they give me one before I have to fight these guys. No, they don't. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Can I take this sword? Understand why they, oh, there's no. Why did they give you a sword? What am I missing? Is that one there? That's the baguette. I see. This is what. To customize all of your spiders. Can we put the sword in our inventory? How do you drop how to drop it between? Okay, hopefully that comes with us. Well, I know I can't fist fight them, so why would they throw me in with that sword? I'm still looking for it. Oh, 
I can't go in there. Can I take this weapon? Oh, I can hit him. Cool. And then I can take this weapon. Perfect. I have to drop that away. You won't let me get too close, huh? Mission complete. All with my hand. I'm still not clear why I didn't get a sword, but that wasn't too bad. So I think the main thing is to steal the uh, weapons of the enemies, but it is difficult to do. And they should make that more clear in the tutorial, how to get the weapons. Can I grab this one? See, yeah, I want that one.
Yeah, see if I could move it a little faster, like I feel like the enemies can move a lot faster than I'm able to. Get a little tougher on us. Mission complete. All right, well, that's it for me. Okay, so overall, I enjoyed this game a lot. The fighting mechanics were fun, it was beautifully designed, and is really polished for an early access title. The tutorial is well done and prepares you well enough to play the game. The only negatives I noticed were the super slow walking in comparison to the enemies, and the fact that they don't give you a weapon when you start a battle. You have to steal it from an enemy that you've slapped to the ground. That is, if you can even grab it. Otherwise, you're stuck using your hands. Definitely keep an eye on this one, as it has a lot of potential to be a great game. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to see more. Thanks. Bye-bye.